Good morning, folks. Perhaps you could tell the universe was piling on our family two days ago in the news. She tossed another one on yesterday, and I'll be taking the pain out on climate scientists today. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on the sun was largely quiet. Minor motions, filament shifts, but no flares or big CMEs. We had been waiting for a solar wind impact. It did arrive yesterday afternoon. Where you can see the telemetry all go vertical is the CME impact. It was a weak one, as expected, and without a significant coronal hole stream enhancement, the KP stays out of storm and unstable conditions. We are still monitoring the southern sunspots another day until they depart the Earth-facing position. The Umbra have grown a fair bit here over the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we saw too many blood echoes in South America. We did a throwback to the blood echo wind map. Folks, it's not always this obvious, and I don't do as much quake forecasting as I used to. But this is another hit for the longtime veterans keeping the score. Folks, nearly 15 years ago, Catherine got a little Yorkie. His name was Achilles. He taught her what unconditional love is. When I met her two years later, it was as though the dog had known me forever. We brought in a partner for him, Hope, a few years later, and they've been inseparable. They went across the continent with us in the mobile observatory. Yesterday, his next journey began in my arms. I'm going to miss him so much. Goodbye, Achilles. Now, where's my punching bag? Oh, there you snowflakes are. This is going to hurt. A few days ago in part four of our climate special, we made fun of these clowns over their fear-mongering of Antarctic destabilization happening super rapidly. I had asked where that destabilization is if it's record warming happening record fast today. I'll let the journals do the talking with the data showing that Antarctic sea ice is not only growing, but that we've hit record marks for that ice expansion recently. No other signatures of this much ice growth anywhere in the record. It's like when they tell you, oh no, spring snow cover is declining, but winter snow is actually on a slight rise, and as for fall, it's rising faster than spring is falling. And overall, indeed it is growing. Climate model fail in the top climate journal on Earth, Snow is increasing, which is not what the model suggested would happen. In the climate series, we use the Jupiter model to try to help show how the auroral excitement of the entire atmosphere works, and on October 25th, the journals pointed to those equatorward traveling waves from the aurora at our planet. We even saw the secondary feature of the red auroral arcs, which do also travel from pole to equator. Today, we dive into how it happens. The aurora has energetic pieces that detach and move towards the equator, which is a bit different than the visualization of Jupiter beaming the energy. And this actually makes more sense, as up next we've got a triple delight of papers describing how the particles actually couple with that auroral electrojet, including new mechanisms. This makes two aspects of solar climate forcing they didn't have a season ago. The auroral excitement by greater means and newly discovered mechanisms, and how that energy is transferred equatorward throughout the planet. Last but not least, what are the important moments in long-term climate and catastrophism? The Dansgaard Oeschger events and the Heinrich events. In a nod to the varying impacts of these events across the globe, here, the H3 Heinrich event was the coldest, not the globally known last glacial maximum at H2, and the most abrupt and severe was H1, the Helena Pauli half-cycle event, which is known to have hit the Mediterranean more strongly than other areas. Climate propagandists keep lying. The revolution in the journals continues. And folks, did our climate series finish this week and then magically, randomly, these papers come out for the weekend? Or is something else happening here? On this day as much as ever, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.